SpaceX just faced its first booster landing failure in over three years, and it's sending shockwaves through the space industry. During a routine Starlink mission on August 28, 2024, the Falcon 9 rocket's first stage attempted to land on a drone ship in the Atlantic, but things took a dramatic turn. Flames erupted, and the booster tipped over, breaking apart in a rare and unexpected crash. This incident has grounded the Falcon 9 fleet as the FAAA investigates what went wrong. In this video, we're diving straight into the details of this surprising failure, what it means for SpaceX's future, and the potential impact on upcoming missions. On August 28, 2024, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral, Florida, carrying 21 Starlink satellites into orbit. The mission was part of SpaceX's ongoing efforts to build a global satellite internet network. As with many of SpaceX's launches, the plan was for the first stage booster to land on a drone ship in the Atlantic Ocean after deploying the satellites. Everything seemed to be going smoothly. The rocket lifted off without a hitch, and the upper stage successfully deployed the satellites into orbit. However, when the first stage booster attempted to land on the drone ship, named a shortfall of gravitas, things went awry. The booster's descent appeared normal at first. But upon touchdown, flames erupted from the base of the booster. Within seconds, the booster tipped over and broke apart, a sight that surprised viewers on the live stream. This marked the first time in 268 attempts that a Falcon 9 booster had failed to land successfully since February 2021. SpaceX's streak of successful landings had become a testament to their engineering prowess, making this incident all the more shocking. So what exactly went wrong? While the exact cause is still under investigation, initial reports suggest that something malfunctioned in the final moments of the landing. The flames that erupted from the base of the booster indicate that there may have been an issue with the rocket's landing legs or propulsion system. These components are critical for a smooth landing, and any failure in these systems can lead to a catastrophic outcome. This failure is not just a technical glitch, it's a reminder of the challenges that come with space exploration. Even the most experienced companies like SpaceX can face unexpected setbacks. The success of these landings is not just about saving the booster for reuse, it's about ensuring the safety and reliability of the entire mission. The fact that this incident occurred on the 23rd flight of this particular booster, which had previously flown 22 successful missions, only adds to the significance of the event. When a Falcon 9 booster fails to land successfully, it's more than just a visual disappointment, it's a complex issue that demands immediate investigation. SpaceX and the FAA have already started looking into the potential causes of this failure. The leading hypothesis centers around a possible malfunction in the rocket's landing system, which includes the landing legs and the propulsion system that controls the final descent. In previous incidents, such as the one in February 2021, Similar issues were attributed to engine fatigue and wear over multiple flights. Given that this booster was on its 23rd flight, wear and tear could have played a significant role in the failure. SpaceX's immediate response was to halt any further launches until a thorough investigation could be conducted. The FAA, which oversees the safety of all space flights originating from U.S. soil, has grounded the Falcon 9 fleet until the investigation is complete. This is a standard procedure but it highlights the seriousness of the situation. The FAA's primary concern is public safety, and they will want to ensure that the root cause of the failure is identified and rectified before allowing Falcon 9 to return to flight. The implications of this grounding are significant. SpaceX had planned a second Falcon 9 launch just hours after the failed landing, but that mission was postponed. More critically, the Polaris Dawn mission, which involves a crewed flight with private astronauts, could be delayed. This mission is particularly high profile because it includes the first private spacewalk and is a major milestone in SpaceX's commercial spaceflight program. The delay could impact not only SpaceX's schedule but also its reputation for reliability. However, it's important to note that SpaceX has a track record of bouncing back from setbacks. In 2021, after a similar failure, the company quickly identified the issue, implemented fixes, and returned to flight within two weeks. This resilience is part of what has made SpaceX so successful in the highly competitive space industry.
The impact of this booster landing failure extends beyond the immediate investigation. It raises important questions about the reliability and sustainability of SpaceX's reusable rocket technology. Reusability is at the core of SpaceX's business model, allowing them to launch more frequently and at a lower cost than traditional expendable rockets. But with reusability comes the challenge of maintaining equipment that experiences extreme conditions with each flight. This incident serves as a stark reminder that even the most reliable technology can have its limits. One of the key concerns moving forward will be the assessment of the longevity of Falcon 9 boosters. The booster that failed had already flown 22 successful missions, making it one of the most experienced rockets in SpaceX's fleet. This raises the question how many flights can a Falcon 9 booster safely complete before the risk of failure becomes too high? SpaceX has been pushing the boundaries of reusability, with some boosters flying up to 17 times. However, the August 28th incident may prompt a re-evaluation of these limits. Another potential impact is on customer confidence. SpaceX has built a reputation for reliability, which has attracted a wide range of clients, from NASA to commercial satellite operators. A failure like this, while rare, can cause concern among current and prospective customers. They may wonder whether SpaceX's aggressive launch schedule and emphasis on reusability could compromise safety and mission success. SpaceX will need to address these concerns head-on, likely by demonstrating that they have identified the cause of the failure and implemented robust fixes to prevent future incidents. Finally, this incident could influence the broader space industry's approach to reusability. SpaceX has been a trailblazer in this area, and their success has inspired other companies to pursue reusable rocket technology. However, the risks associated with reusability are becoming increasingly apparent. The industry may need to strike a balance between the cost savings and environmental benefits of reusability and the need for rigorous maintenance and testing protocols. SpaceX's experience will undoubtedly provide valuable lessons for other companies looking to follow in their footsteps. In this video, we have learned about the recent Falcon 9 booster landing failure and its significance for SpaceX and the future of reusable rocket technology. We explored the details of the incident, the potential causes, and how this rare setback could impact future missions and the broader space industry. We hope you learned something new. If you did, please give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below and tell us what you think about this news and what you would like to know more about. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.